I was diagnosed with Fabre disease when I was nine years old. In 2013, I decided to do the Fabre's walkabout and walk from the East Coast to the West Coast and raise awareness for Fabre disease. I actually had some success in spreading awareness of Fabre disease, which was like one of the things that I really wanted to drive home because I've walked into doctor's offices before and told them that I had Fabre disease and they literally have no idea what it is. And to explain to a doctor who's supposed to be helping you what you're dealing with is just seemed so crazy to me my whole life. During the walk, I definitely had to battle some of the symptoms, not necessarily on a day-to-day -day basis, but pretty frequently I was having pain in my fingers and toes and spikes in the barometric pressure also make my fingers and toes hurt as well as stress and heat. About halfway through his great walk, he became a role model for all these kids with Fabry disease who hadn't seen somebody who had Fabry disease or couldn't believe that somebody with Fabry disease can do something physically grueling like walk across the United States. Social media for the walk was a huge part of it. That sort of thing was one of the main ways that I could spread awareness. To me, Courtney's a hero as well. He's been a focus for all these kids who think they can't do something because they have Fabry disease. The things that I tell people with Fabry disease are mainly just, you know, you gotta live like glass half full and set your limits for you. You gotta set those for yourself.